Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to make a tool tote for my brother for uh, his job so that he can take his tools around with him when he's working and uh, as always I'm going to use scrap materials so I've got some scrap pieces of uh, MDF and I've got an old piece of broom handle that I'm going to use for the handle. So the first thing to do was to measure up the, the panels so the bottom, the two sides and then the front and back Um, I would have liked to have used plywood but I didn't have any so I wanted to make use of this MDF. So now I'm just marking up the separate panels and for the front and back I've got these little squares of a water resistant MDF. So I'm going to mark these up and I'm going to add a curve to the top. So uh, I'm finding the center first of all. And once I've found that center, I use a compass to uh, draw out the curve on the top. And then I use the ruler to match up the curve with the, the bottom, so that will be the shape. So now I needed to get all those panels cut out and I used the uh, circular saw for that. And then I just chop them to length with the mitre saw. And now it was time to cut out the front and back, so I used the jigsaw for that. Just went nice and slow to follow those lines. So once I'd made the first cut, I used that as a template for the second cut. And once that was cut out, I clamped them both together and then sanded them down to make them as, uh, as exact as possible, just to get them both exactly the same. So now for the handle, I measured and cut the handle to size and that needed to be the exact length of the tool tote. And when I'd finished messing around with it, I went back inside and now I needed to mark up where I was going to drill the hole which would accommodate the handle. And for that I used a force and a bit, I think it was 25mm. And then I used um, the hole as a guide and then I just pushed down and made a mark so that I could drill the second hole. So now I needed to glue that handle in to these two end pieces. So um, I filled I put plenty of glue in the hole and around the end of the handle and you can see I've sanded it down ready. It's a nice tight fit. Now I just need to hammer it in. So 
So once I was happy with that, it was time to connect the bottom. But first of all, I just wanted to mark up where to drill the pilot holes. So I just used one of the sides, which is the, of equal thickness and marked out some lines. So I knew where to draw the pilot holes. And then I equally spaced the pilot holes. And I did the same with the sides. So then I just uh, used the drill press again to drill all the pilot holes. And the same with the front and back pieces. And then I just uh, went around and countersunk all the holes. So now it's time to get everything glued up. Again, I just took my time, uh, used a brush to uh, spread out all the glue, and then just carefully lined everything up and used a clamp to help me out there. And then I just drilled through and added some screws. And then it was just time to get the sides on. And if you're new to the channel, uh, thank you very much for clicking on this video. Uh, I do a lot of woodwork videos and I also do gardening videos and restoration projects as well. So if, if that's what you're into, uh, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Now I just used the hammer to uh, help me get everything in place because it was all a very snug fit. That's how I wanted it because I wanted to get a really good contact with the glue. And I then just clamped everything up ready to uh, drive the screws in. And I then went round with a screwdriver and just hand tightened all the screws. So I wanted to make this structure very strong because it's going to get a lot of abuse and uh, it's going to have to carry quite a bit of weight. So now I wanted to make um, a divider for the inside. So I used two pieces of uh, pallet wood, I think that is, to form like a T shape. And that would just be to put smaller tools in um, away from the main section. So I just found the center of this T-shape and you'll see how it fits in in a moment. And I wanted to connect these two together. So I placed them where I wanted them. You can see like two smaller sections at the end there. And then I drove the screws in. And then I drilled a hole and added a screw at the bottom just to connect it all together. So now it was time to uh, round over some of the edges and I used uh, the router for that. And this would just be to stop any chips. And I just give a little bit of a round over to the edges on the tops there just for a bit of decoration. And then it was time to give it all the sanding down. And I just used a 120 grit for this.
and I finished it up with uh, I finished it off with a, a hand sanding. So then it was time to finish it. Um, what I did is I used some uh, some decking stain, which I thought would be hard wearing and soaking, and make it a little bit water resistant as well. As it is only a toolbox, I didn't need to worry too much about the finish. It didn't have to be, um, you know, a really good paintwork finish. So just for a finishing touch, I used a little piece of scrap aluminium and uh, I bent it into shape and I wanted to add this to the front of the box um, so that the, the tape measure could be attached to the front. So I drilled some holes in that and then added some screws. And I connected that to the front. So the belt clip on the tape measure will just slot into that gap. And that was it all finished. So I was quite pleased with how it turned out. It took a lot longer than I thought it would, but it ended up being really strong and sturdy. So I hope you'll like that. So if you found this video useful, please remember to like and also consider subscribing for more videos. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.